Hello everybody! Happy Tuesday! Hope you're doing very, very well. I'm going to be filming this week's videos after another Chelsea defeat. The fact that I have to be specific for that just shows you how terrible and depressing it's gotten to be a Chelsea fan. So in order to cheer myself up, I thought I'd open up a couple of football shirts and see what they look like. They've actually done a bit of travelling to get here. I've ordered twice from this particular country this year, and the other one I bought was pretty, pretty nice. These two are well designed. I think you will possibly have already seen them just floating around the internet. They do look good from the images in person. Not always the case, but I have good feelings. And also, they are two big teams that you will be very familiar with. Both of them have been in the news recently for different reasons. One have had a really good time, the other one definitely not. So we'll see which one it is that you can figure out. So I'll be careful with this because it's got my details on. It's like it's already been pulled a little bit. So there we go. Now I'm going to get one of them randomly. It is this one. Ooh, okay then. So we shall set you aside. Now then, there is a shirt there. And there is the other shirt. So it has tags and it comes in the bag so hopefully of course this is a medium sized shirt oh, it's a little bit weird when you're buying from certain places but uh, let's go Ooh. is there anything else in here no okay then so hopefully you can pick it all up wow i mean when you see this in person it's probably not going to come up perfectly on the camera because of the lighting issues i, I have but it's so vibrant and so bright. And that design is so detailed and intricate. The image actually online, I thought it might be a little bit sort of, I don't know, not necessarily blurry, but just not as a good quality print. But this is really, really smart. So it has this design, which to be honest, a lot of shirts maybe would have just left it for the front. But Umbro have decided to go full hog here. And they've actually got the Umbro on the back of the neck, which is interesting. You don't usually see that, do you? you usually you see something to do with the club. We bring it around to the front, it's going to be a continuation of that particular design. Now then, I reckon some of you, most of you, have already figured quite who this is, specifically if you're from this part of the world. But the shirt design definitely did the rounds online. And, well, it's there's a reason why. I, I saw the leak for this um, and I thought I am absolutely going to grab one. I've been wanting one for this particular club because they're such a big name. But it's amazing and there should be something on the sleeve there you won't be able to see probably but it might give a little indication of what it's about it says japan so let me dress the mannequin and i'll come back to you with some information about this shirt okay then so there is the shirt it's beautiful and it fits really nicely on the mannequin so if you can find a place that does sell it uh, just get the size you normally would who's the club i think we all know who the club is it is, of course, Santos FC, and this is their third shirt from, well, 2023, the season that's only just finished. Now, I bought this one from Foot Fanatics. Place actually is in Brazil, which makes sense because they have a wide array of Brazilian shirts. And it's usually my go-to if I know that there's some shirts that I am particularly interested in. Shipping, of course, doesn't get involved in the price. This one cost me £60. They sell everything in dollars. It comes to about £60, which is pretty decent for a football shirt that's brand new and sort of kind of recently released. Now, they only have about, I think, small and medium for sale, at least at the time of recording. So if you are interested and that is one of your sizes, quickly grab one. When it comes to the club, it was founded in 1912, so over 100 years now. And they come from the city of Santos. Makes sense, really, with the name. Now, as I mentioned, the season's only just finished, and it's actually a historical season for this club. Historical because it's the first time ever in their history the club has been relegated. Yes, they found themselves on the last game of the season looking for the points to survive, and they just didn't occur. So the team is now gone. So as much as this shirt actually is pretty nice, it's probably one that the fans might want to try and forget there. So unfortunately, I'd like to have shirts that are associated at least with something positive. This one does have that negative connotation. Last season, they finished in mid-table, so it's not really been a particularly great time for the club. Now, of course, historically, they are one of the most successful teams in Brazilian football, having won the league title eight times. Though, of course, the most recent one was only in 2004, so it has been quite a while, what, 20 years since the league title. And naturally, their most successful period was in the 1960s, where they did have a late Pele, well, not then, I suppose, weaving his magic in the league, where they were possibly maybe 
the best team in the world at that point. Now, when it comes to the Copa Libertadores, which is the equivalent of the Champions League in South America, they've also had success in that competition, winning it three times, which is the joint best record for any Brazilian team, at least until maybe Palmeiras win one again. Now, um, this shirt is, of course, manufactured by Umbro, which is not too unsurprising because they seem to have a little bit of a foothold in South America and certainly in Brazil, and they've been with Umbro for a good number of years now. Now, this shirt design is the one that stands out, and it's paying tributes to Japanese heritage and culture. What you have here is a carp and wave design on the front. Now, apparently the, uh, what does it say now here? The, uh, the carp is meant to symbolize strength, persistence, and triumph within Asian culture. Unfortunately, it's associated with a club that got relegated. So that's quite funny, isn't it? As I did mention, it has Japan on the cuff there. Apparently it's a tribute to Japanese people who sort of emigrated slash immigrated to the, uh, country of brazil bringing their culture landing in the port city of santos there now um, in addition to this there is also a crown above the crest and of course that is again another tribute but this time to the late pele who did pass was it last december i think it was over just a year now isn't it um, unfortunately for them it was a season which pff, you know, I suppose it was meant to be a celebratory season. It's obviously ended up the opposite of that. So it's really not gone very well for them there. Now, typically the club would wear white for their home shirts, I think, and then white and black for their away shirts. For me, not the most exciting of color combinations, a bit boring. But when this one dropped the colors, I was like, yes, I'm going to have to grab one. I mean, Santos, they're a big name, regardless of whatever you think. They are a big name. And if I want to get a majority of the clubs, it's been a bit crazy that I've had to wait so long to add one to my collection. Now, uh, the only difficulty is when it came to some of their shirts, a lot of the time, certainly when you can buy it in UK, they didn't have uh, sponsors on the front. They persistently just either had them but you just couldn't buy them or they just never had a sponsor whatsoever so i was kind of waiting for one and now we've got blaze.com not the most sightly of um, um sponsors but at least there is one there but uh, there you go so i mean if you take ignore the fact that the club has been terrible the shirt design it's possibly one of my favorite designs that I've added to my collection this year. Definitely going to be a contender for my top 10 shirts bought for 2023. I think if anybody's able to get a chance to grab one, this I would absolutely recommend. It's just really well put together. It feels really nice. You've got the little collar effect there, which I know some people like, a little insert. I mean, that's transferred on, that's embroidered, embroidered. It's just a good quality shirt. Um, so there we go. That is one of the shirts I'm going to show you. I wonder what country the other one is going to be from. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great week ahead. We are very, very close now to, well, depends what you do. If you're at school, I'm sure you'll be close to, to finishing. And then if you're at work, like me, you may have some period off over Christmas. And I think we're all just counting down to so that. So that's it, really. Thank you as always for watching my videos and goodbye.